In this video, I will teach you how to use email workflows in Flowdesk. And I think this is probably the most useful part of using email marketing software. So you don't have to do everything manually. Instead, you set it once and it will work for you forever. This is kind of the secret to working less by getting higher sales and revenue. <laughs> Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I help creators with the technical side of their business. And this is the eighth lesson in my complete Flowdesk course. To see all the lessons, uh, just click on this banner and you'll take you to the YouTube playlist where you can select what you want. So let's get started with workflows. By the way, if you're still in the free trial with Flowdesk and you want to continue with them and pay for it, you can get 50% discount for the first year if you use my promo code tips with punch. That's all capitals and all together. So let's go to workflows. And now here we can create a new workflow. Now there's a few options here and you can ch choose one of these, but we're just going to start from scratch because it's easier to show that way. So I want to now send the checklist to people that uh, sign up to the form we just created. So I'm going to just call it, I'm just going to call it avoid spam box lead magnet. So let's save it. Workflows just start with the trigger. So something has to trigger this workflow. In my case, it will be, I'm going to select a subscriber is added to a segment. As you remember, when we created the form, we added the segment here. So when they sign up through that form, they're added to this specific segment. So now I can say, hey, when people subscribe to this form, then do something. So I can here, if I just hover over, I see a little plus and now I have more options. So when they subscribe, I want immediately to send an email with the freebie. Here we can start to create a new email and I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to call the email avoid spam checklist. So let's save it. Right. So you can see it adds this, my logo, which is my picture. I'm going to just delete that. I, I don't think we need that. And the text part, I will need it. So uh, let me update that a little bit. So I'm going to remove this text and just place my text that I already have here. Here I just uh, greet the person and say thanks for basically subscribing. And now what we need to do, so I have the text. I need to link this text. So grab it here. I want to make it to a link. And I could now make it into a link, but maybe it's even more, it's even better if I make it into a button. So from here, as in an email, any emails, we already went through that. We can add a button from here. So now I'm going to just say that download it here. Let's remove this button. I'm not sure why is it here, but now this is the background color, but I want the button. I want to change the button slightly. So my buttons are a bit like this and then the border color. Mm, actually, I want it to be filled. So this is just the borders filled like this and fill color. I think I want something like this. No, that's a bit too, too, uh, too little. Yeah, this works better. So one of these like this. Okay. And then I want to align it to left. And what can I, I can do now is instead of this text, I'm going to cut it out, place the button here. So I just need to remove the spacer. And then I'm going to add here another text block like this. Now it's center aligned and I like that. I'm going to align it to the left. So now it looks a bit more natural, but this one has a bit of padding. You see, it's not aligning here on left. So I come here in the block section. Now the padding, it has a bit of a left one. You see, if I make it zero, now it kind of fits here. It's on the same line as the other one, or maybe it's not. So I need to see what the difference is. This is at zero. I'm going to also make this one at zero. So let's go and adjust that quickly. So it looks nice right now here. There's a 10, 10 pixel uh, padding. Okay, great. I can remove this text. Let me make it a bit look a bit better. Okay, like this. So now obviously we need to do something. Once somebody clicks on this button, they need to get the freebie. So I'm going to click on this. Then in the link section, I can attach a file. So let's upload a file. And I have already here the PDF checklist. So if I select that, and by the way, this is a real checklist that you can download if you just follow the link in the description. And it's actually a checklist where you can see how you can avoid emails going to spam. So I'm going to click on open. It just means now the file is attached to this, uh, this button. So if somebody clicks on it, they will be able to download it. Okay. This email is done. 
Let's click on finish. By the way, if you're interested in setting up an email newsletter in Flowdesk, but just need a little help or guidance, then book me for a one-on-one -on -one call or check my Flowdesk turnkey services, where I'll basically build it for you. Uh, the links will be in the description. So let's click on this email one more time. You see, you can edit it here, sender and subject line. Actually, this is the subject line. So let's change that to something uh, better. So it's, it's, it's not like this. The cool thing about subject lines, you can also add some personalizations here. So if I uh, type at, I can type in first name, friend, and then just add, here's your checklist. So it will just say something like, hey, Robert, here's your checklist. And then you can also add preview text. In this case, I'm not going to add it. And that's it. This email is now done. So it's going to get sent immediately as somebody uh, joins, subscribes to this segment. Now, what we can do later is after this is sent out, we can add a delay, let's say one day delay. We can also adjust from here, two days, or maybe even, uh, you know, certain day of week, you send an email, uh, day of time and so on. So let's say we just wait for two days and then we send another email. So from here, we can say email. And I'm just going to use the other email as example. So let's say this one, let's say this is a, a second email and, and this is about uh, useful tips with email ma marketing. So what I can do here, let's change this. So it's clear, useful tips. Uh, I'm going to remove this. Um, just, you know, this is just to you dummy content so that you can see that you can add other emails. Now on top of that, you can also add some logic here. So instead of time delay or email, you can add a condition. Or you can also take an action. We're going to take a look at condition first. And it's just asking that there's something below it. But yeah, let's just say move step to yes branch like this. So now it moved the subscriber will complete this workflow. So I don't know why it's asking that. But in any case, it works like this. You have now condition. And what we can say is when subscriber is in the segment or open a workflow email or has clicked on a link, then we do something. So let's uh, select subscriber has clicked on the link like this. And we're going to choose the email, the first email, so the checklist. And then choose a link. So in this case, it's that uh, link to download the freebie. So if I choose that, when somebody clicks on this, then you have a yes or no situation. If somebody clicks on it, they will go into this flow. If somebody doesn't click on it, then they go here. Now it's complaining that I don't have any delays. So let's add a bit of delay here. So I'm just going to say time delay one day. And now it comes to this condition. So after one day, this email has been sent. You can now do things. So for example, let's say somebody does not click on that link and didn't basically get the, the checklist. So we can send that reminder email. We can send, okay, another email. Let's just, just use as a template this one. And you could just send a reminder. Hey, you know, did you, did you get this email? Did you get the checklist? Did you like it? You can just follow up automatically. But what if they did click on it? Well, we can start maybe upselling some of our paid courses. So here we can add another email. Email, I'm going to again just use this as a template. And we can start selling things. So for example, here subject line email with video course offer. Obviously, you would set up the email and so on. I just want to show you that the possibilities of the workflows. So in this workflow, not only do people get a second email with useful tips, but also within a few days for three days after the, they should have received the checklist, we also look at, hey, did they actually open uh, or downloaded that file? If they did, then we can start selling to them. But if they didn't, they didn't get the value from us yet. So maybe we can follow up on that. So in this case, let's say, yes, they, they open, they're ready. We could start selling to them. And once this flow is ending, we can take an action. So from here, we can say action. So take the following action, add subscriber to segments and remove a subscriber from a segment. So we could also create a new segment. We could call it something like, we could call this something like warm lead for email. So this just means that they are kind of, they've got the value from our checklist and they're ready to be, you know, uh, nurtured into customers. So from here, you could add one of the segments, uh, but 
let's say I'm just going to add, just for as an example, I would need to create a new segment for this to actually make sense. So uh, let's say interested in websites. So then let's say we're done. We can now publish this and just publish now and it will start working. As soon as somebody signs up to uh, that form, they will actually get this, they get into this workflow. So they will get that. So they will get that email and so on. So let me show you how it actually works. So on my website, let me just sign up. Okay, let me get on the list. Okay, thanks for subscribing. And there you go, you get this email. So now I can just click on this download button. There you go. You land on this PDF and now you could just download it from here. And you know, this is the way your subscriber would experience this. And then in two days, they'll get another email and so on. That's how the workflows basically work. One of the biggest challenges when starting with email marketing is getting more subscribers to your, uh, to join your list. To incentivize people to join, most email newsletters offer a lead magnet. Uh, in, in other words, it's some sort of a free digital product like a ebook, checklist, or a short video course. It really can be anything that be, uh, as long as people find it valuable. And in exchange, they provide their email address to you. So that's kind of way how you get the email. Now, creating a proper lead magnet is not part of this course, but there's a lot you can do with a software called canva.com because you can basically design a checklist, an ebook, or a how-to guide in Canva. So I would definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. That said, the format is not that important. I have multiple lead magnets that I've just created in Google Sheets or Docs. So these are free software. The most important thing about lead magnets that I found out is that they provide value in bite sizes. So you cannot just create a book with hundreds of pages. No, that's too much for a lead magnet. So keep the lead magnet short uh, so that your subscribers get the value out of it as fast as possible. And, and when you're starting out, don't overcomplicate it. Uh, just create one to three different lead magnets and offer those wherever you can, as long as it, it is, you know, in the right context. Okay, now you know how to automate your emails, but what if you want to sell your digital products or services directly from your emails? That's exactly what I'm going to teach you in the next lesson, which you can watch by clicking on this video right here.